So the nights were starting to draw in and I decided to head out with HW97 again to see if I could get another rabbit or two. The farmyard behind me, as you can probably hear, is quite noisy so I decided to head in a different direction that uh, might be less disturbed by the noise. And while I was working my way down the hedgerow, I spotted a rabbit in the distance. Now he was a good 50-55 yards away. So well out of range of the air rifle I was using at the time. So I needed to stalk in a good 10-15 yards before I was comfortable of taking a shot. I usually like trying to get within 35-40 to 40 yards before taking a shot with the uh, spring powered air rifle. I had to pause here for a second as the rabbit kept lifting its head up and down. Any time a rabbit lifts its head up, it's usually heard uh, something that just doesn't like. So you're best pausing, waiting for the rabbit to go back to feed again before moving off. You can see the Danish camouflage I'm using matches the hedgerows quite well. The big grey dusty boots unfortunately doesn't do anything for it, but uh, thankfully nothing sees them. They're that close to the ground and usually covered in grass. But once I thought I was in range, I give the rabbit a wee click with the rangefinder and he was about 40 yards away. So I carefully sat down to get into a good comfortable shooting position. I waited a minute or two here just to catch my breath after stalking in to make sure I was well settled before taking the shot. Then I tried giving the rabbit a squeak or two to get him to raise his head and he didn't seem at all interested and kept feeding. But finally, thankfully, he lifted his head just enough above the grass and I took him with a nice headshot. So before I moved off I recocked and loaded the rifle as you never know what might be around the corner and you don't really get much time to cock and load a rifle when a rabbit's sitting looking at you. But I see in the comments I've started a wee bit of a controversy with this. Uh, some people have wrote in saying that this is bad for the air rifle spring and will reduce the power in the air rifle. While others have kindly wrote in with their experiences of leaving guns cocked overnight or even for days or even weeks at times without really any loss in power at all. So whether it's with the newer metals and springs and technologies we're using in spring powered air rifles is much better than what the old air rifles was years ago, I don't know. But I only really keep the rifle cocked for maybe an hour or two when I'm out hunting and it doesn't seem to affect me so uh, I'll continue to do it. So with Mr Bunny packed up and into the game bag I moved off to see what else might be about. Now the nights are drawing in and the sun is setting behind me that's probably why I've got such a dark picture in the camera but I was making my way down the back lane here when I spotted a rabbit out in front of me. He's a good 80 yards and more so it's going to be a long stalk down that uh, fence line there but hopefully the uh, thistles will cover my approach. I'm walking on a gravel path which usually isn't the quietest to walk on so I have to take my time and watch how I'm putting my feet down. But after a bit of a slow lengthy walk I managed to get myself well within uh, range of about 25 yards as I know I'm going to have to take a freehand stand and shot so I got in as close as I could readied myself raised to the occasion only to see the rabbit run across the field after such a lengthy stalk ah well that happens sometimes so I recocked the rifle to set the safety catch before moving off. 
down at the bottom end of the field you can see the uh, ground is quite rough with weeds thistles nettles and so forth and I spotted a rabbit just in the distance so I lowered myself to try and cut down as much profile showing to the rabbit and tried to make my way slowly forward the rabbit knows I'm there I'm just trying to bluff my way within range basically sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but thankfully this time there's a bank of uh, thistles in front of me which was helping disguise my approach I checked the range with the, the range finder and if I mind right the hedge was about 37 yards so I suspect that the rabbit was probably about uh, 35 to 36 yards sitting out into the field a couple of yards it was a wee bit of a long range shot for a free hand standing but it was the only option I had as the bank of thistles in front of me was too high to get sat down behind and I took the shot the pellet struck just behind the rabbit but he didn't run, he didn't run away totally so I slowly sank in behind the uh, thistles again and very cautiously cocked the rifle trying not to make as much noise as possible I wasn't really expecting the rabbit to still be there by the time I got the rifle cocked and loaded again but when I settled myself caught my breath and stood back up for the shot there was a rabbit there now whether or not that was the same one or not I don't know but this time I managed to connect cleanly and drop him in his tracks The shot struck him in the neck, gave him a nice clean kill, struck a wee bit lower than I was expecting it to, but uh, it must have went straight through the spinal cord dropping the rabbit cleanly. Not bad for a wee 177 pellet. So I gave his belly a wee squeeze to get rid of any excess urine and dropped him into the game bag. Well, the darker nights are definitely on their way. Whether this is the last time I get out or not, I don't know. Just the two rabbits, but uh, still, it's nice to get out and about.